When it comes to getting help from Google Assistant, all you have to do is give these phones a little squeeze. But there's so much more that these new Google phones offer. It's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And this is our first look at the Google Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, brought to you by Audible. Now, there are two sizes of the Google Pixel 2. There's a Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, which is the one that I have in my hand right now. The Pixel 2 XL is actually pretty easy to handle still, and uh, especially with the squeezing capability, it's still easy to do that and get right into Google Assistant without any problems at all. One of the workflows that we're probably going to end up seeing a lot is when you take the phone out of your pocket, you just take it out, and even with the screen off, you could just squeeze the device, and it will turn right back on and give you Google Assistant. The smaller Pixel 2 comes with 5 inches in its screen and it's a full HD OLED screen. The Google Pixel 2 XL will have a 6 inch Quad HD OLED display that also rocks a 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Now the Pixel 2 has the smaller screen and thus is a little bit easier to handle which is expected, but the Pixel 2 XL does a little bit of a better job this time around with that 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The screen is a little bit taller than it is wide like a lot of 18 by 9 aspect ratio phones that we're seeing this year and thus it is a little bit easier to handle than its counterpart from last year. Now, if there's one thing that I was really surprised by, it was the dual front-facing speaker. Now, what we have are stereo speakers on the front to make it so that you're able to blast music or whatever you're watching at yourself. And I will admit, it's a little bit too loud in this area for me to actually test the speakers. But I will say this, when I played a YouTube video, I was actually able to hear it even in this environment. Now, that's not the best test, but we're going to do that testing even more later on with our full review. Speaking of audio, probably one of the big points of contention for people is going to be the lack of a headphone jack. Unfortunately, there is no headphone jack on these devices, which means you're going to be using either a USB-C adapted pair of headphones or you're going to be using the Pixel Buds or any other wireless Bluetooth headphones in order to enjoy music and audio out of these new Pixel phones. Underneath the hood, you get the Snapdragon 835 with the Adreno 540 and 4 gigabytes of RAM. And in both phones, you can get 64 or 128 gigabytes of onboard storage with no micro SD. SD card slot. The batteries are also relative to which device you get as the Pixel 2 has a 2700 milliamp hour battery and the Pixel 2 XL gets a 3520 milliamp hour unit. And both phones have IP67 water and dust resistance. There are a number of colors of the Pixel 2, including a blue version that you're seeing in this video. And of the Pixel 2 XL, we have two colors, and I'm holding the black one in this segment right now. But the one that I really want to get my hands on is that panda color with that coral power button on the side that gives it a really lovely accent. But now we can talk about the cameras, and the rear cameras on both of these devices have a 12 megapixel sensor with 1.4 micron pixel sizes at f1.8 aperture. But behind all of that is a data algorithm by Google that that uses its machine learning in order to give you all of the best data to get the best possible shot out of these cameras. Google is also going for the more data-driven photography experience using machine learning as much as it possibly can in order to cater the shot to the best possible quality. But this portrait mode is also available for the front-facing camera, which is an 8-megapixel shooter. And as you can see, I'm in the Stranger Things little demo area where they're showing off the AR capabilities, putting Stranger Things monsters and characters right beside me here on this couch. It's actually a pretty great uh, feature of the camera, pretty low latency, and I'm able to interact with those creatures and characters live on the camera application. It's just one capability on these cameras that actually got one of the highest, if not the highest, DxO Mark ratings that we've seen on on any smartphone so far. And yet another capability of the camera is Google Lens, which is now a part of Google Assistant that you can access by hitting the icon when you open up the Assistant. It allows you to scan pretty much anything in your environment and you will be able to use Google's own search engines in order to figure out exactly what you're looking at. And of course, with the software, we have the stock Android experience with Android 8.0 Oreo at the helm. Now, what you get is the latest version of Android. So if you are an Android purist, of course, you're going to be looking at the Pixel as the best experience for Google's operating system. If you're a veteran of stock Android, then you know what to expect here. The interface looks incredibly familiar, but the search bar has been moved to the bottom so that you are able to use it no matter what screen you're on. And then, of course, you're able to get to Google Assistant in a number of different ways, including now squeezing the phone. If there's one thing that's incredibly clear about these Pixel phones and about Google's product line for this year, it's that Google Assistant is definitely at the helm and is the focus of all of their products. We'll be giving you our full review once we get our hands on a unit, and I'm really hoping I get the Pixel 2 XL in that panda color because that's the one that I definitely want to rock. 
So as always, thank you guys very much for watching and thank you to Audible for teaming up with us to bring you all a free audiobook and a 30-day free trial via the link in our description, audible.com slash Android Authority. Audiobooks from Audible are a great way to transform your commute, like one I just made recently across China and the Philippines to make it to this event. They have an unbeatable selection of bestsellers, mysteries, thrillers, and motivational books. For me, it's a great way to learn and improve myself like I did with my current pick and you're seeing it here, Headstrong by Dave Asprey. Optimization isn't just an Android thing, it's a way of life. Why not do for yourself what Android does every month and every year? Headstrong teaches readers about biohacking in order to bring out the best version of ourselves. I highly recommend it as a personal development and biohacking book, and you can get it right now for free at audible.com slash Android Authority. That's audible.com slash Android Authority. Thank you to the sponsor of our video, Audible. Ride or fly, like I did, with Audible. So stay tuned to Android Authority for more about the Google Pixel 2, the Pixel 2 XL, and for all of Google's products that were announced today at their event in San Francisco. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for that and even more because, of course, we are your source for all things Android.